Well, hello, your Tuxer host, Reese here. I'm here to proudly present to you our eighth installment. Here we got is 16 tricks and magic within this installment. Without any further ado, let's get to him right now. So get those like thumbs up for me, and let's get right with him from here. <sighs> Let me see what, what happens out here. Ooh, look at this nice menu. It looks very unique. Let's see what we have. Okay, so here up, up the menu to our first magic trick. And that goes right to the Pyrus Coin Magic Trick. Is of this. What it look like? Here's the performance. Here is hold is my uh, my 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 uh, lighter right here. I'm gonna actually is use this and get flame onto it. Okay, so here's the flame. Watch by magic, the flame turns to a coin. So how did I did I do this magic trick? As it is, I'm about to reveal the Pyrus coin secret to you right now. Here's what you'll need for this matter trick. Okay, so the Pyrus coin is a magic trick. It is to turn flame into a coin. And if you don't have the magic trick, here are other things that you'll need to get to actually make the Pyrus coin by DIY. It was the stuff that you'll be needing to get for it. First, you'll need is a coin, a big coin. And next, secondly, you'll need a lighter, seen just here. Secondly, you'll need scissors to cut, and you'll need all these alcohol swabs. What you're going to do is is cut only only one from this. So here, we'll take one out of these right here. Right here, you're going to is I'll show you how to uh, uh, prep for this. Is very very simple because you're going to is take one and you're going to is take this off like this like that okay so you do not want to fall you're going to is with your scissors is give it a cut like about here this like this okay that's all you will need and then you're going to cut it again into squares so it looks like this you're going to stick these on the back of the coin Like this, in the back of it, just like this. And you're going to is um, intensify it with some rubbing alcohol, like this. This is what you'll see, just for here. You're going to is put uh, it into. A container and you need is an eyedropper so here's an eyedropper and this is the alcohol inside here you're going to is suck this up like that and you're going to is apply this onto the uh, alcohol swab like this So that way it will intensify the flame. 
Now get your lighter and you're good to go. You want the, cl the coin to sew off oh, with it in your, finger, in your fingers like this. And you're going to is grip, hold it with your fingers just like this. That way, this stays completely empty. Your palm stays empty. The coin is just right here. What you're going to do is hold the lighter in that same hand with your thumb and pointer. That way, all you see is you holding on the lighter like this. So you do this in a slight shade. That way they get see the flame. So you're going to start off with it like that. So, first like that. And then you're going to is um, have the flame greet this with the lighter like this. Like that. So you can see the flame. And all you gotta do is like that. Flip it backwards and have it now turn into a coin. From flame right to coin. After it is done, so the coin back and front. And that right there is how you do the Pyrus coin master trick. So, starting off this installment was very heartwarming and very epic. And that's how you do and perform the master trick to it. Here are for the Pyrus coin master trick. Here, open my menu to our next trick we got to, to our trick number two. Now it goes to the multi cube. Bar cup magic trick is what this will look like. So, okay, so here I got is this one uh, cube right here. You see that I'm going to is uh, take this cup right here. You can take a look. That I'm gonna actually is to take this. I'm going to just going to go over it like this. We're going to actually is wait. I would just use one of these right here. Watch. I'm going to multiply to the year of 23. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see that? Okay. How about we all just to take just one here? I'll put this in. Um. Two here, this, and two here. Like that, okay. So I just put that no, one into there. All I got is two. We'll see. Do a little, little bit of a magical wave here. Well, how about we, we, we use the star? Yeah, let's use the star one here. Okay, two, the stars of our new year. Okay, watch this. Whoa! Where did the third cube go? It like gave us more cubes than usual. One, two, and the third gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cubes. Wow, all that from just and you see a looking vintage cup you see just here okay so how did I do this master trick well I guess now's the time I will re reveal the secrets this one here goes into cubes dice and one cup this will create magic here are the things that you'll need to do the Multi cube cup master trick. That's what you'll see here, right at the uh, tricks table. I'll use is my wand to point on the things that you will need to get. You'll need our three jumbo dice. One, two, three. You'll need is um, any amount of um, loose ones. Here we got one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. We got eight uh, smaller sized uh, dice right here. Then you'll need is the cup right here. And of course, you'll need is a wand to go with it. You tap onto the cup. 
to create the magic. Okay, what you want to do is conceal the lot of the cubes right here into your hand like this. Here, like that, and you're going to hold that there. Like that. And then you're going to is conceal the two larger ones in the the other hand like this. Just down one about here. All to be seen is only one cube right here. Like that. You're gonna go here and you're going to show the cup completely empty. The cubes are just right here. You're going to is as you place this over is put the cubes in the line of going under the cup like this. Like that, make sure it all fits in the cup very nicely. Just like this. Go and get your wand and give it a wave and say the words to a year of 23. Go ahead, tap and go up like this. One stacks up, that's okay too, or like that, if you want to get a little shake, and it does that. Now it multiplies by three. You're going to <clears throat> is leave the two out, take one cube, and place to the other hand that has the other cubes in here. You're going to is place this in like this. Really, you're going to actually is place these in like this, like that. This now is ditched. You're going to is go like this with your hand and go down like this. And say watch. So here we got two. I place one one in. Then what is this? Say you to the year of twenty-three. And get a little tap like that. And then by magic. It creates the cubes, the other cubes, seen just here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight, and all to be seen are only two drumbo cubes out just like this. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick two, the magic multi-cube bar cup. Magic trick. Off the menu, we get to our trick number. I look into the book right here and pull out our trick number three. And that goes right to the magic disappearing shot cup cups. Magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here are the tricks table for this. Here I got is one gold cup, two gold cup, three gold cup, and a shot glass right there that has a nice um, uh, a cherry wine in the inside of it. You guys can take a look. Okay, what I'm going to is make this a vest by the use of all three of these cups. Okay, first things first, what we're going to is I'll place the wand just for here for now. Nice place to hold the magic wand. Just for here. Okay, so what I'm going to is uh, I'm going to is to take this cup of here. I'm going to place this like this. Okay, so it's Right in there, I was going to uh, have it to completely vanish. Okay. I'm going to is this now is take the wand and we'll make this to vanish. Right there. Make it to vanish. And then, what I'm going to do now is um, have it do something a little bit more interesting with it. Because we need to have now is two 
empty cups already. Okay, so here I'm going to is about place this aside. Now I'll place that too over here. And I'm going to is um, see what um, I can do and have it to maybe appear under one. Since I've been made it disappear, I'll make it appear. So here, I'll move is this forward like this okay we'll make we'll, we'll make it appear under these two empty cups okay so we may invest with one watch we'll make it appear right under that one okay we'll see if we could do, do it one more time with the other one like this so here I'm gonna go from here like this here, just like that. Okay, so here, um, going to is um, move this em empty one here because now the uh, shot glass is under here. Okay, watch this. We'll get a little bit of magic. I'm gonna make it disappear. Two, twenty-three. Look, completely disappeared. I wonder if it will disappear for the third time. Yeah. Okay, so first things first, we'll see this one here. And I'll show you exactly that was complete. Com completely bare. Okay, now that we may have vanished from all three, how about we all bring this back? Like this. Okay, so there, I saw all three now. It, it completely vanished. Then what is this? To the year of 23. With love. And make it appear. So how did I do, uh, I do this one? I'll show you this is done right now. So here it goes into uh, a, 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 a sock cup and three gold cups. Of course, the only need is the magic wand to go for, uh, with that as well too. Okay, so here's what you are going to be doing. Have all the cups like this. It's almost like the cups and balls on how it is presented. Because wine, uh, the shot glass is just right there. What we're going to is um, make it vanish, appear, and vanish, vanish after, and then make it appear at the final end. Okay. First step you want to is go like this. Like that. As the. Uh, as the illusion. Right there. It's really just to be here as you go like this. Like that, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is, when you are doing that, is to have them cross like this. And then go like that. This now carefully moves. To the opposite side. This now they're saying that de uh, this right here is the uh, one that has the uh, shock glass. You can say that here is one of the empty. Make sure you say this is an empty cup. What you can say to the year of twenty three and make the vast to have happen. What you're going to is make it appear now. Under one of the empty cups. Say, I wonder, out of these two empty cups, make sure you say these two empty cups. That way they'll know. 
we will place that side. What we're going to do is move this forward. Like that. I say, okay, so here's an empty cup. We'll make it up here. So it's, we made it disappear from here. Now we make it reappear. You can say, you can say anywhere or just go from on tap and have it to it. Up here. You're going to is repeat the same thing. Again. Like this. Again. Like this. This now is moved to the opposite side. Make sure you say that this one here is empty when you're doing that. And here is the one that has the shot, uh, the shot glass in. Wave over it and say, you're 23 with love and make it disappear. Put it into mask one and go like this. Then place it into the other cup right here. Last but not least, you want to show them that this is empty as well, too. By a secret move. Because this is in here, you don't want them to, 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 to see that. You're going to is, as it picks up, you're going to is collect it like this, and palm it off like this. And so it's completely empty. Really, it's just here. That way, it vanishes a different way, and so that this too was empty. Place your hand over like this. Make sure this is not get exposed, and place this like this, very quickly like that, and say, okay, now that we made it, you, you see that that was empty. Well, make it up here. Like the one say to to the year. February. In the two February year of 23. And make it appear. Just like that. And it's done. Cup. Go back in. Wand. Can go back into the cup like that. And from there, place the salt glass after the cups are seen here. And that's how you do and perform the Mazer, the uh, Mazer trick two, the magic disappearing short cup cups Mazer trick. From my menu to you, we get down to our trick number four, and that goes to the New Year's heart to present Mazer trick. Is what this? Oh, look at what will look like. Is what this one here goes. To the heart of the love of the new, the new year of February. Since we did a little bit of a flame in the beginning, in the beginning, the flame comes from the heart. Here is the heart right here that we're gonna actually is do the giving part with the heart. So here I got this here and actually is to take the heart here like this and we will turn it into something completely interesting. Watch. And change it into a present. Here now, I give to you my present from my heart with love for the new year of February. So how did I do this one? I'll show you this is done right now. So this one here goes into the heart as well as the present. 
in a classical New Year's way. Here's what you'll need to get for this magic trick. You will need is a, a, a present and a heart in the same. Make sure it is the same as a bow on the heart as it is on a present right here. Looks nice and, cl and classical because it has some nice class to, to it. Next you will we'll need is a napkin. Any nap napkin will do here. I'm just using just this right here. What you want to do here is have the pr have the uh, present concealed into your hand like this. Napkin is held just like this. The heart now is to is to be seen, held and gripped. The fingers just like this. On top of the napkin, seen just right here. What you're going to do is sew the heart. And then what you're going to do is open this up like this. With your opposite hand, it's your fingers holding it open. Just like this. Why? It helps with the ditching of this. So as you put it in, go in here, and immediately grab the, pre the present. And from there, it actually transforms right into the present. There, I guess, the heart in, in there, as well as the present. As it is done, the, the napkin, face into hand, and put the present on. And by wand, present. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick to the magic New Year's heart to present magic trick. Bring us down, we get to to our trick number five. That goes to the magic bar star mug necklace magic trick. This is what this will look like. So here I have is my white wine here. And here I got is this um, star mug right here that I will be uh, using. Okay. And all I have is this silver bead necklace. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna go into here just like this. And I'm gonna put it into the mug first, like this. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is something very, very magical with it. With the white wine, you'll see what that does. Because this white wine here looks. Very, um, g golden. We'll see what that will do. I'll just uh, take to, to take this first. I'll say my cheers. Cheers. No, uh, February cheers to you. Dump it in. I love it. Down to the last drop. Okay. I'm going to is just give this a little swish. Like that. I'm going to is use a different wand this time here. It's a gold with silver tip. Okay. To the magic of our New Year's. You'll see what that did. If it just reach in and look. Both what turned into. It turned into gold. That's what happened when I placed this in. Very fine. 
goes into jewelry. So, how was this magic trick done? As is about to reveal the secrets, but, but wait. One second. Just wait. Before we get into the, the uh, revealing part, watch this. I'll get it back. All the way down to the last drop again. That. And we're gonna see exactly this. So, how did I do? I, uh, do this? Well, I'll show you. All you'll need is a silver bead necklace and a gold bead necklace right here. It means a wand. A star mug. This is actually one of star's stickers. Right here. And then you'll need is white wine or juice or apple juice will do. Make sure it's nice and golden. Why? It plays a role with with uh, this. You're going to is conceal the gold mapless. You're going to is take the uh, silver and so I'm going to is put this in like this I'll bring the, the mug for, uh, forward like this with the handle up facing this way okay so you're gonna place this in just like that and drop this off like this at the same time then go and take your white wine or apple juice or orange juice they all look nice and golden and place it into the, the uh, cup like this. And you do close that to here. That and go in like that. Okay, make sure it's all down to the last drop. Side, you're gonna say okay, you're gonna just pick, pick up and get all straight and switch. It's just right inside there. Switch and then get the wand to provide the magic and say two golden year of 23. And get a tap, saying that magic into it. And turn it's done, reach in, flip it on top, and by magic. It turns the silver necklace into a gold necklace. See, just right here. Until it's done, you put it around your neck after getting it dry, or if you have a hand statue like this, and just dress it onto it just like this to add a little bit of something to it. What you're going to do is take it out like this, dump it back in, be very careful. As you dump, that way you can take out the silver necklace like this. Dump it out like that, and so the star mug will completely empty. There it gets the star mug, the white wine, apple juice, or orange juice to go with it. It's a very um, uh, great uh, um, vintage New Year's one because it, that, that too is a vintage, let alone a classical one as well too. Very classy and very fine. And I know that Maastricht was done and performed. Give it up for the ma magic bar star mug necklace magic trick. Bring us down, we get to our sixth one. Here we're gonna take a bow and by magic do something to it. To our trick number six, which I like to call the New Year's 
bow to tie. Master trick is with this. Well, bow like. Look, 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 look at this. I got myself is a bow. And it just takes off. Okay, because here, I'm going to is say just a few words. Okay, so, okay, so, bow. Okay, bow. Tie. Now, from bow to tie. So here is a very, uh, a very unique truck because Right here, I know is is a, like a bow here, and then down here is the tie part. So there it gets a bow that you, it then goes to the tie. Okay, so how did I do this trick? As it is about to reveal the classical singer, the classical singer to you right now. All you'll need is um, a vintage cream. White bow tie seems to here. You're going to is have these two come up over here like that. And the back of it just like that. And you're gonna hide this back here. So it looks like the bow and the tie part is right here. I'm gonna place that where bow ties like to be. See so, okay, so you can say hey check out my uh, nice um, vintage, like, white, but, bow, so get a little story going on there, <clears throat> say, okay, let me just take it off, like this, off, like that, you know, forward, and you say, the words, at the cutting knees, bow to tie, or bow, and then tie at the end, and have it needs to drop down, like this, I want to be very quick, so I'll say bow to tie, bow tie. There I guess the bow in there as well as the tie right here. It's a pretty straightforward trick you want to do, and that's how you do the bow to tie trick. That too was a, a very um, classical vintage one. I know how that trick was done and performed. Here now we get the menu to read off our next trick from here. Here we get down to our trick number seven. That is the New Year's Magic Fox Squawker Magic Trick. It's like this. All the like. So here I got is this nice, um, classy looking vintage box that says Happy New Year on it. Let's take a look at the inside, shall we? What do we have inside here? But, we have a magic wand that we'll be using. I'll place that super here. And here we got is a gold squawker. And a silver squaw and a silver squawker. Okay, if I will place this the, uh, silver one here, and in here I'll place this gold one on the opposite side, right here. So here is a gold right there, and here is the silver. Okay, I'm going to is to take the lid right here. Like this. Watch. Very carefully. Okay, so here was the silver, and here was the gold. Watch. Two. The new toy. Three with magic. Now look. It jumps. 
gold stayed, but the silver jumped from here right to where the gold is in the box after leaving the magic wand. How is this one done? I'll show you. All you'll need is a divider box that you see right here. This is um, a, a jewelry box. Um, a classy one. You can stamp onto it if you want to. And you need our two different squawkers. And of course, you'll need it is the magic wand to make the magic with it. Like this. Okay, what you're going to is take the squawkers out and show the gold first. And then show the silver. You're going to place the silver into here and the gold on the opposite side. Like this. Gold there and silver right here. What you're going to do is take the box lid. You're going to do put this in like this. And that's going to go in here to creating the jump. Like that. Take the magic wand and then say the magical words to the magic of 23. like this. Then open the box and by magic the gold that was once here jumps to greet the silver in the box. When it's done the lid can go underneath. Wand comes out and place on the opposite side of it you see just right here. It's a uh, vintage one, a classy one, and a New Year's one as well too. And that right there is how you do the magic trick to the New Year's magic squawker box magic trick. Bring us down to our eighth one we get to, and that is the magic bar cup chopper magic trick. Is with this. Here at the fixed table, we are for this one. Okay, so here I got is one empty bar cup right here. Okay, here. And I got another empty one as well here. Okay, what we're going to is very magical with this one here. Okay, what I'm going to is uh, have this just down here. That. I'll place this right here on top. The impossible. I've never done this before. Okay, so here I got this. Watch this. Like that. Two to twenty with magic. Where did it go? Dust. Right under this. And by magic, it passes through the bar chopper cups. So how is this magic trick done? I'll show ya. So here is a classy bar vintage magic trick. So in here gets your silverware. All you will need is your magic wand here. And we're gonna have it is two of these cups here. One, two of these smaller ones. The same color as the, the larger ones. These are gold trimmed. The big, as well as the um, ones seen here too, are gold trimmed, just right there. Okay, because these are the same. This will blend out. I'm going to place one in to a cup like this. It's just right here. But it looks completely empty to the audience view. This now you can go like this and so that's completely empty. Like this. 
I'm going to is just to fall down like this. You're gonna hold that there, and you're gonna place that just right here, like this. You're gonna place the other one on top. It's almost like the cups and balls, but different. It involves the silverware and a bar of light cups. You're going to just place the other one on. This will lock in. Here, this will actually lock in like this. It'll lock in with pressure. Like this. That way you can easily get the wand and wave to the year of 23. And like this. Pick it up like this. And lift like that that now magically that passes right through this now pressure here at the bottom will release the cup in the inside of this like that there you can solve the cups completely empty and then pass them together place the two upright by wand the other one, and just push forward just like that. And then place the wand on top of the other one. Scene, just right here. And that right there, so you do and perform the magic trick too. The magic bar chopper cups magic trick. Bring us down to our ninth one we got to. Here we're going to get a ring and a tie. And by magic, we'll do something to the, to the, uh, the two. To our ninth one, which I like to call the New Year's ring and tie magic trick. And so this will look like. So here I got is this ring. Okay, here. They saw the ring, and here I got is my tie. See here. Okay, I'm gonna actually is uh, put this tie onto the ring like this. Watch very carefully. I could do with this. Watch. Just gonna get us a good yank here. Watch. It goes directly onto. The ring. So how is this magic trick done? I'll show you first. Let's take it off. Here. Watch the watch the thing I tie here. Watch. Take it right off the ring and take a look at the tie. So how is this master trick done? I will show you now. All you'll need is a tie. Here I'm using is the, check, the a checkered plaid like tie. And you'll need is this ring. This ring here is has a slit in, in the inside. It's almost like the Chinese linking rings. But this is New Year style. It's nice and gold. And it goes well with the uh, tie seen here. Okay, you're going to is conceal this like this. So the uh, tie pass it around. They can take a uh, yank like this. And that's intact. You're going to is place this onto here. And you're going to is place it in, in like this. And pull down like this. You can, you can, you can yeah, drop if you want to, or yank, and it goes right onto the ring. Seen just right here. Reverse. Go from here. Take it out. Hold on to it like this. That fall, or forcefully pull, and by magic. It comes off the ring, past the tie round for examination. You take a feel, and you can also give it a tug as well too. 
swap the ring with with no ring. You can also do it without the gimmick split by just simply doing a different way. Going like this. Having it on like this. And then go forceful fold like that. Simple by going like this, folding it, and then go on like this. That way you'll know it's on. This is the other option. And then go one, two, three, and put right off the ring. So there's another option to this as well too. Let alone a gimmick if you want to go down the road to actually making the slit in the ring for the master trick. And that there is a do and perform the master trick too. The magic New Year's ring and tie master trick. That there was a classic ma master, uh, master trick. There gets it from where, from where the tie and of course the gold, the gold ring to go with it. And that's how you do the master trick to it. Okay, since we have done our um, master trick number nine, we're going to get down to our master trick number ten. And that goes right to the magic wine vase. Magic trick is what this will look like. This is what from Sue right now. So here I got with me is um, wine glass right here. And here I got he has the wine vase. This is a wine vase. Right here. Okay. What I'm going to do is show you a little bit coming out of the wine vase right here. Okay. I'll see a little bit into here. So you can see a little bit right there. Okay. I'll place that oh, outside there. Okay. Okay, so since I put that in a little bit with there, I got a, a little bit, a little bit more. You want to see a little bit more? Sure. There. And here I got is this rope. Right here. Here I'm going to is uh, place this rope. Into here like this. What is it very magical with it? Watch. Very carefully. By magic, I pick up the wine vase. By the rope. Put it down to my arm. As now. I dump more wine into the cup. So how is this magic trick done? As is about to reveal, this fire sticker to you right now is what you'll need for this. One, you'll need, what you'll need is a magician's cl a cloth rope. Right here, that's the like a white tips, the, the, bl the black tips right here. You will need one glass. And this wine vase, this actually is a real wine vase. I'm going to is preload the wine into it first. Like that. That way you get a good amount. I'll place that right here. 
a little bit, bit, bit more in. Here, and I'll put the rest back into here. Like that. This now is empty and placed to over here. Same with the wine vase. This now is dressed and laced over your arm, just like this. Right here. Next, you will need is a gimmick to go with it, and that's this marble seen just right here. That will allow this to hold on onto it while in the base. Going to is conceal this. Take the uh, wine vase and so. Then take the wine glass and pour. And so. Wine coming out a bit like that. So, make sure you get just a little bit in there, not a lot though. Like about uh, that much for starters. And say, okay, I want to see a little bit more. Put us a little bit more. Not a lot. Then place this aside. And go with this. So you can hear the splashing of the wine in the inside. That way it is um, evened out and it's less. That way it's very easy to do what you're about to do. Take the rope and place into it just like this. Like that, if it gets wet, that's okay too. Like that, and as you do that, do, do that, you want to is place this in like this. Hold it like that. Come up to the table, place it like this. And pick up the rope like this. Y vase is picked up. Forward, grab into your hand. This now can get pushed in. Rope comes out like this. Like this. Rope now can go back onto your arm. Seen here. After it is done, I'll put the rest inside here. it is done, give this a dump like this. And it's a uh, gimmick for vote. That could be like uh, like a, uh, an ice cube falling out inside. That way the gimmick now is dished just right here in the wine. It is done. Wine glass can be inside there. Wine vase now can go on the side. Rope either on the arm or wrapped around and is placed right onto the other table. Seen just to here. It's a very uh, formal, um, divine master trick. It is a classic. And it is a professional master trick. They could do at a bar setting, wedding, um, as well as New Year's as well too. And that's how you perform the master trick too. The magic wine vase master trick. Wine vase and rope master trick is what was originally called. And that right there is how you do and perform the master trick too. The magic wine vase. Okay, bring us down to our next one we get to, to our 11th one. That is the Vanishing Block Cube Bag Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Here's the performance to you right now. So here with me, I have this bag right here. It's a nice uh, uh, Costco one. Here, I just reach in and I'll grab 
Is this a uh, nice black a cube right here? You see here? And it actually is make it to vanish. That I'll place as big a side like this. And with that, I'll get is this magic wand instead. This. Okay, so here I got this cube right here. Well, actually, is to make the uh, magic happen with this. So, if the cube here, watch two of the year of 23 with the year of magic. When I go big, watch. Give a nice little wand tap. Okay, so you just saw me make a vanish. I reach into the bag, and look. By magic, it appears into the bag. So how was this magic trick done? I'll show you this magic trick is done right now. Here's what you'll need to pulse this magic trick. As so you'll see right here, the only need is a magic wand, a different one, gold with white tips. This time. Then you'll need is one, two of the same cube dices, black. Or any color will do. But black looks pretty nice too. Looks nice and New York like. And the bag. This is actually an LED bag that sparkles and again glistens. With the colors of the rainbow, much like the uh, shirt that you see me wearing a bit just right here, almost, but not really. Almost looks like it too. Okay, what I want to do here is pre uh, preload the two in the inside. One with the six scissors here. I'm gonna place that into the bag, just like this, right there. You know, you know, hold that in place like this. This now goes to the six level two and place that into the bag as well. That way you can sew one of them if you want to, and then take it out. Bag now is tipped down like this. You can also get a little shake like this. And nothing is coming out really. It's just right there. Bag. Now, we'll just go aside. Right there. To make this a vest, you can also you can put it into your pocket. Like this. So putting it like this. And as you get the wand, put this into your pocket of your pants. At the same time, as you pick up the magic wand like this. Or in another way you can make make that uh, a vanish. Yes, yeah, because these can fold down and squash like this. Go like this, so and as you prepare the wand, very quickly grab this and go like this. Another way you could do that too, in, in a one, is to take this, open your jacket, and collect it like this, holding it right in the back here, holding making your fist. That's another way you can make it vanish too. Wand, and we even say, make the magic of the year 23. Any tap will do. Then, get to the bag, wand wave, and tap. Like that. Ooh, with that magic, we made uh, this jump. Jump magic. <laughs> Open the bag, and go like this. And by magic, vanishes and ends up being pulled out of the bag. Seen this right here. There it gets the black cube, this right there, as well as the bag to go with it. There it is done. Place that aside. Wand, wave, and present.
from classical, uh, from, uh, uh, classical piano, we get to, and now we get a little bit of, uh, classical, um, jazz. Interesting, great combo. Wow, I made this an epic one. This is, this is some pretty epic magic tricks with this and stomach as well, too. Coming up before we move on, wanted well, to let you know that we're gonna get to our last in summit, the summit nine, and I also wanted to keep people posted that after this is done, we're gonna do only a couple um, love um, magic tricks for the love of February. I know that Valentine's is um, is gone already, but we'll be doing the. Um, the love of February with the Valentine stuff. So the love will still get out to you as well too. So, so there'll be a few master tricks that we'll be doing. Then we'll get into our family day stuff. I'll keep you posted more when that time comes. Well, I'll keep you posted within this. With that said, let's get on to our next master trick here. First, that right there is a do and perform. The master trick two, the fashing black cube bag master trick. Bring us down to our next one we get to from the menu right to you. Two hour twelve one. That is the magic checker gold ball and cl uh, cloth master trick. Is what this will look like. Okay, so here I have yeah, it's this magic wand here. We'll use that as a place to tighten to mark it for, uh, 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 for now. What I have with me is this gold ball. And the checker. Silk right here. We're going to is to take this. I'll have this right here. I'm go going to is and something very very magical with it. Okay, so here I will have this right here. So I'll put here. Watch. By magic, it rises and floats up onto the scarf. Look. Wow. Very magical it was. So how did I do this one? I'll show you. All you need is a magic wand, a gold ball that has a place to put the magic wand in the inside like this. This is actually a gold Christmas ball. Then you'll need is this uh, checkered um, cloth right here. You're going to is have this facing you. Wand, now you can sew. We can wave over it too if you want to. Get a little tap and place into your armpit like this. Okay, you're going to sew the ball like this. And you're going to is, as it take this off, you'll place this onto the magic wand like this, but they won't know it. Ball like this. This will be like this. Make sure this is now out like that and held in your armpit. Take the uh, scarf like this and hold. And then all you gotta do is you're gonna, gonna let this go. And then you're gonna hide it like this. Make sure you hold it like this. 
and then we go rise like that and then just rest it onto the scarf like this underneath like this and just use the scarf whoa nice and lightly and move it like this like that and the rest done cover hand grab like that this now just goes into your arm ball can come off like this hold go under a opposite direction you don't want to pull the wand out but in the opposite direction pull it out like this that way it's completely separate from one another to this done we will move the ball give a little tap and then just put on the handle just like this and that there is how you do and perform the magic trick too the Magic checker gold ball cloth magic trick. On um, my menu here, we get to our next magic trick from here, and that goes right to the New Year's Nog hat trick. Is what this will look like. On do I have this time? A classy one. This looks pretty nice. Not as, that, not as nice as. I'm a little bit thirsty. I'll, think I'll get some, some eggnog first. Okay, I'm just gonna see. I got some eggnog with me. Just right there. I just uh, placed the hat down here. How's this to uh, get my full eggnog right here? That, okay. That I'm gonna pour myself is a glass, is a cup. I'll use this in here. Okay, I'll pour myself a little bit of eggnog. In there. Okay. I'll just place that aside. And I'm going to is have a little drink. First. Okay. So here go those fish. Bombs up. get the hat right here you can see this what I'm going to is uh, to take the um, eggnog here you'll see if it may have some magic I dump into the hat like this that okay I'll get a little swish. Dang, I'm gonna swish into this hat here, okay? Oh wait, I only need that magic wand right here. Okay, do the magic of the year 23. Watch this. Take this little mix of this on the inside. In. Now look, I get an eggnog ball on the hat. Seeing this right here. Now with, with that, I'll put 
my hat right back on. Oh, voila! How was this master trick done? I'll show you. Is it here? Is it miming? And a part of magic that'll go in with it. All you'll need is magic wand, hat, and you'll need are other things to go with it. That is what you'll see over here. You will need is a cup. A full eggnog carton. I got to. It's just it's, it's just an empty, but you're gonna play on it. And you'll need is this different colored um, gold Christmas ball that looks like it. Um, like an eggnog-like ball, seems to say here. What you're going to do is put this into your own sleeve shirt, like this. Like that, first. What you're going to do is have the carton closed, like that. And a cup at the ready. Hat. What you're going to is have the hat on first. Now again, so the hat pose. And then take your head like this. Take it off. And give a hat salute. What you're going to is so the hat completely empty. Uh, so let's take the magic wand and go like this. If you wand to. After it is done, you're going to say, I'm a little thirsty. I need some eggnog. This is when you're going to actually mime and play upon it. Place the hat down. Go and, uh, Get your cup and get the eggnog. Right here. What you're going to is hold it close to you and open it like this. Say it's a full eggnog carton. And give it a dump like this. Like this. We're going to do it like this and at an angle of you pouring it in. Like that. It's done. Give it a close. And set this to the side. You do not need that now. Give this a little swish. Like that. And then you're gonna go and take a few sips. Mmm, that's tasty. So you're gonna play on it. Then wipe off a few drips. Place the cup down. Now you don't need now you don't and I need that. Sit down. Hat now. What I'm going to do is put this into the hat like this very quickly. Take the eggnog carton again and open it. And dump it in like this. At a slant. Like that. And give it a close. Place that down. Then get the hat a swish. Like this. Get the magic wand. And wave over. Get the magic in there and say to the magic of the year 23. Whatever you want to. Go in like a, like a spoon and stir like this. Like this. Stir like this. And then. You want to down, reach it like this, the hand going like this. And by magic, the eggnog turns into an eggnog ball that was now coming out of an empty hat just like this. That's where it's done. Ball can be put down. And then, the hat. Like this. 
Or anyway, that, or like that. If you want, if you want to, you can be, you can be, you can be creative. Create a hat and try to do a hat trick to complete the magic trick. And that right there is how you do the magic trick, uh, the magic trick two, the magic New Year's nog hat magic trick. Then it's down to our next magic trick. We get to two hour trick number fourteen. Then let's see the magic clear bar mix mug magic trick. Is what this will mix like. It, you know, well, I mean, besides, we'll be in the kitchen for this one. I'll see you right there. So first up, I got these two bar mugs right there. Okay, this is very, very magical with what you will see this here. I'll just place this aside for now as I'll go and get myself a napkin for this. Hey, look, see? To the hat this time. To the hat change. I was good for a change. Okay, let me just go and get myself a napkin first. Ah, you see, napkin. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, I'll, I'll go. I need this too. I'll place that down over here too as well too. Okay, so first things first. You can see that this completely empty, right? Watch this, and I'm gonna go like this. Watch what I could do and get a drink of wine to appear. Okay, how about we all do a little bit of mixing with this? So since we got this up here, we'll see what else we could do. Okay, do a little special up. I'll place this aside right now. Well, now I'll go and uh, get this right here. Okay, so here, I'll place this in. And look, by magic, it turns into grape wine. Now, last and final. Right into the glass. Wow! Very fine. Oh wait, I got I got I got spruce in that dab as well too. There we go. Hey, I can see my face in this. So how did I do this? I'll show you. All you need. Is a glass, wine glass. Uh, you will know need is. Let's gonna come count on this one. Is a gimmick cup. Right there. You will need all these two bar mugs right here. Clear. They must be clear because this is a visual magic trick. And you'll need is a napkin. What you want to do is get your red food coloring in here. We'll have this here. Here's the red food coloring. That you'll place in the inside of this. And then go get water into it. This is, involves in the mixing. Now that you got this, you're good to go. This, no one sees this yet. I'll just place this over here as well too. Next, you're gonna get is a blue food coloring because red with blue turns to what? Purple, and purple is what? Grape. So grape wine, isn't that fine? 
Okay, so it's our last cup right here. You're going to just put your blue food coloring. Yeah. This only, not a lot. Go. One. Two. Two drops of blue food coloring. Now you are going to go to perform. First, show the cups. And so the clear. You're going to is get your napkin. This is just right, right, right over here. Okay. You're going to is hide this in the back after sewing. Come up, put that behind. This is called making the wine appear first. So the cup empty. Pass it a few times. Then just drop it in like this. And I go with this. I'm making wine appear in the end center. It's done. Get a little sprucing up. Place your napkin aside. Go get the one that has the blue food coloring in it right there. And now, as they mix, the red now turns. When it meets the blue, it makes the purple. As the grape wine. Turn it on, give it a little swish. Go get it in your glass and dump it in like this. Showing what it turned into in the glass. There brings mixing magic in with this. Very fine as it goes into wine. Or fake wine. Well, because you're using the food, food, food coloring, goes a long way in making a great, very fine magic trick that, that you could do. Cheers. Mmm, that is so tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot to spruce up this too. Make sure you spruce up the glass too. That way you can see. Oh, I see my face in this. And now on with my my original hat. You know what? Like the gold, I do like like this too. It just goes well with the outfit that I'm wearing for this installment. It goes into class and goes into style. Very classy, it is. And that right there is how you do and perform the magic trick to the magic bar, uh, clear bar mix mug magic trick. Bring us down to our 15th one, that is to the New Year's magic tender case magic trick. Is what this will look like. It's the performance. So here I got in this uh, tender case right here, the bartender case there, and here we got is a hundred dollars right there, right? Hundred bucks. I'll place this into the tender case. We'll take this now and we'll give we'll give it a close, like this, okay, like this, like that. We'll give it yeah, a lock. Or get us to leave it like that. Oh wait, and I need a magic wand too. I'll be back I'll go get a magic wand. Okay, so here, come back and make one up here. Right here. Okay, so here I got this magic wand here. Watch. Okay, so um two a year of 23. Okay, watch this. By magic, it changes into a dollar sign in the tender case. How is this, this one done? I'll show you. All you need, need is a dollar sign. And actually, it's a plastic one you can wear like a costume. Magic, uh, magic wand. Different this time, and then you'll need are some false bottoms right here. 
and uh, fake pretend, pretend money or real. Here I'm using is a hundred dollars right here. Same false bottom right here in the case. What you're going to do is preload this in to the top part of the tender case. This is actually a real uh, bartender case. What you're going to do is put this and hide it. Just like this. All to be seen is the dollar could also have the wand in there, in there as well too. Wand. And then so the bill. The hundred dollar bill. Right here. If it's done, place it in. Hold on to this or it'll fall out like this. It is the panel. You're gonna close it like this and you lock it or leave it just as is. Wave over, magic wand say to the year 23. And go. Get that magic in the inside. If it is done, open the tender case. And the bill now turns into a dollar bling sign seam. Just say here. So it's done, take it out and place onto a table display. Or if you want to, so just simply just leave it into the tender case seam. Just say here. That too was um, um, a really professional master master you could do. There goes down class, the vintage society of New Year's, and a class size old too. And as they do, the magic bar tender case magic trick. On to our last one, we get to to our trick number sixteen thumb. The menu right to you that goes to the vintage style New Year's top hat master trick. Is like this will look like. Here's a vintage hat right there. Looks very, very nice. Goes well. Okay, you can see here the inside of the hat is completely empty, right? And here I got is this ball. Let's go ball. I'm going to is um. Move this stuff down to over here for now. The opposite side here. Okay. What I'm going to is rest the hat right to over here on the table. Okay. Here I got this ball, nice cool cover here, and it got is a nice magic wand right here. We will use for this. How about we'll use is not this one here. I'll put that into the cup right cup there. We'll use this instead. Okay. What I'm going to is I'm going to place this ball into the uh, hat. Yes. Okay. So you can see here. Okay. I'm just going to go into the. Um, Hat like this. I'm going to you can see me putting it like this, like that. So it's now in a hat right there. Okay, I'm gonna go like this, like that. Okay, so here I got this. Watch very, very closely. What I can do with this the hat wave. Watch. Very closely. I'm gonna get up here in the gold cloth. So, how was this magic trick done? As is, but to reveal the secrets. As I'm here, is a very uh, specialty magic trick. There, it gets a gold ball. Gold magic wand, uh, gold scarf, and a vintage hat. This is actually a vintage hat. Right here. Whoops. Like this. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we can use this wand, but we will use this wand instead. Because it goes well with the whole look. 
Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You guys with the ball. The scarf. The wand. And the hat. Right there, the vintage hat. So completely empty. Place this down like this onto the table. Place the magic wand into your armpit. This now is left open. Why? Because as you put this in the hat here, you're going to take it out again and place into the scarf. So that scarf is going to hide that. So it's like this. Like that. So again, throw the ball, go in, and go like this, very uh, quickly and point, and point, this now, the wave over the hat like this, and get a little tap, like that, after it is done, what you're going to is, Hold the uh, scarf, balls right there. What you're going to is put it loosely on top, wave the wand, and go watch this from here. Two, there, like this. Make sure you go like this. Or rise above, like that too. There, I guess, the vintage top hat right here. The wand to go with it. The ball and the gold scarf. Okay, it's done. Put in just like this. Scarf now, you know, it's on the arm. Or, fold it and place into the hat. See in here. Back on with my original hat. And there you go, right there. All 16 tips of magic that you, that you can do for our year of 2023. I'll see you all back to tomorrow with our last final installment. Here we will bring this a wrap, and we will get on to our uh, February of Love, which is what we're going to be basing it on. It'd be loosely based off of uh, Valentine, so too. But there, we'll be getting out the love magic tricks within that one. I'll see you soon. I'm truly Reese. Peace, love, and, love and blessings.